So, we are cleaning up um, our combat, finding loot, sending people off to get the other loot. Uh, and then I guess we're going into our long rest. Can I get a gold number estimation? Gold number. We'll say amongst the four bodies, you found three gold, five silver, and two copper, just for fun. Why are you laughing sure. at me? Uh, I'm actually you. gonna. You've muted yourself, Mr. Beard. Oh, it was how you said, uh, and two copper, like you said, like, I'm a benevolent god. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not even how I meant it. <laughs> no, I know, it's just No electrum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, cause I'm like, I'm trying to make it seem like kind of realistic, you know? Like, they would have, like, different we, kinds of coin on them. We pull out the seven electrum coins and go, what the fuck are these? I've never <laughs> seen these before. <laughs> Um, I am going to put the bodies in the back of one of the wagons and take them to... We're going to the crossroads first, aren't we? Yep. Take them to crossroads and drop them off there because they might be wanted or something. Sure. Like, not the bodies would be wanted, but, like, the people might be wanted. Yeah, no, yeah. like, like by the law, you mean. Oh, I could just sell the bodies as well and be like, hey, experiment on these guys. <laughs> it's really funny you bring that up. I'm going to tangent again, even though we just got back into playing. Uh, but the research, I finally decided what I'm doing for my research paper that I've talked about a couple of times on stream. Um, I'm doing it on human skin bound books. Ooh. Which is really interesting. Uh, basically, I'm arguing that we should keep them in collections because they're important historical rel uh, relics and like this. Um, they, they are a good opening for ethical quandary of like uh, consent and death and stuff like that. But the main like the main skin that is used for these books just comes from like stolen cadavers because you know like doctors when they were first learning to be doctors they like would steal bodies from um, like cemeteries or like buy them off of people. And it's like a lot of them, like a lot of the books are like anatomy books that are then bound with skin from bodies that they were using. I mean, hmm. there was an executioner that used to collect tattoos. Very cool. And like have them, you know, like when they did with like, you know, with like bugs and butterflies and stuff, you put like little pins in them. Yeah. And things. They used to do that with like skin bits with tattoos on them. Interesting, morbid, and interesting. Hmm. I feel I feel like things like this are actually really good in like RPG character. Yeah. I have a collection I would like you to see. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you happen to have any inked parts of your body? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the rest of your travel goes without any problem. <laughs> you have um, some bodies in the back of your wagon for a couple of um, You have the uh, injured man in the back of uh, I assume, are you going to travel with the injured and the uninjured man? Or are you going to like kick him out of your convoy? <laughs> well, we'll go in the same way. We'll keep him with us. Okay. Um, so yeah, so the, they'll ride and they're at the crossroads. You know what the crossroads is, but just in case somebody has not been here before, the crossroads is like, I call it a settlement. Not a whole lot of people live here. It is kind of just like a hub for like in the middle of traveling. So there's like a little general store. There's uh, an outside market, like a couple of houses like, down the Is there. there like a guard outpost or anything like that? Oh yeah, we want to sell our armor. 
Um, <laughs> like a skin tome, you have to install dust person whose corpse it was. Like, that's not actually always true. Some people <laughs> do give consent to. It. Um, we are dead. Like, so my my thing is obviously very much talking about, um, yeah. The, like, historical importance of books that already exist, not, like, creating new books. Um, welcome in, Spoonie. Hi, Spoonie. I, ho I hope you're recovering. Hi, Spoonie. But yeah, uh, guard outpost. Uh, there's not really an outpost, but there are, uh, like, right, like, there's, like, people who are generally, like, hired and work a little bit. Um, Asgard's in the area. Like, hired mercenaries that then, like, move on and, like, new mercenaries are hired. Uh, it's pretty much just to, to find somewhere to drop off the bodies. Oh, if, and okay. Find out if any of uh, them were wanted or... I feel I feel like the, the innkeeper uh, would be the best person to talk to about whether... is known in the area, I suppose. Okay. Like, well, they'd be uh, able we've... to, like, get in contact with the authorities, kind of? Well, if they recognize any of them, I would like to probably take less than the actual bounty, so it's worth them keeping, if that makes sense. What do you mean? I don't get it. So, like, say there's a bounty for 10 gold on this person. Okay. We'll give them to the innkeeper for 8 gold, because then they can just have the 2 gold. Okay, I see. So we don't have to deal with anything. Sure. Want to want to keep going. I don't mind losing out on a little bit of gold. Um, yeah, so the, the innkeeper recognizes you. You've been through here a couple of Um, and so uh, they're perfectly willing to make a, a like, a deal with you. Part of it. And how much would the bounty be on these people? Are they known? Um, this, like, they'll point to, like, one of them and be like, that's definitely, like, a leader of a group of people who have been causing trouble in the general area. Uh, I believe the bounty on their head is six gold. Uh, you would you like to buy this bounty for five gold? Four gold. You drive a Eight hard gold. and. Well, I never. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> you drive a hard and. Uninteresting bargain, sure, four gold. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't know why I'm typing this now. Um, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of research, so we will definitely have a conversation with it about it sometime. Um, I might even turn it into a YouTube video. Who? Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, they'll, they'll give you four gold for the bodies. You can do stuff that. I can hear an idiot on both microphones. Mine or yours? <laughs> oh, I don't all know, honestly. Or... I'm not really sure where he is. I'm being. I just can hear just... him scream. I'm looking at whether the studded leather is going to be. He has, to, he has, he has to announce loudly to the house for like 15 minutes before he goes poop. That's true. <laughs> well, he needs to scare everything away. Plus, he needs to tell us to watch his back while he poops. That's sure. why. That's why okay. I yell at him. Oh, you like have a good poop, Iggy. I'm watching. It sometimes <laughs> works. I will be pooping for ten seconds. I need everyone <laughs> to be prepared. That's like that's the thing too. It's not like it takes them a long time to like evacuate. <laughs> Uh, I think, what is it? is it like 50 gold for 
study leather. Uh, I 45. have no idea. Gold confuses me. Every time we bring it up, I'm just... I have no... 45 gold for studded leather. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> can I sell both of the studded leathers? Um, you can head over to the marketplace and see who's around. Uh, Hotak, can I trust you with this? Would you be able to sell these? Uh, I'd say lowest we can go is probably 75 for both. All right, I believe I, I can get us a good deal. I'm pretty good with uh, my words, so. Actual value of both is about 90 gold. I don't Actual mind Actual value them. is about 90 gold. I will get us 200. Uh, but please try not to swindle too much. Uh, we will be coming back through here. Oh, I will not. They will think they've gotten a good deal. That's the art of the swindle, my friend. Do we know okay. of any local legends or uh, heroes of the area? There is the Dreamweaver. They are... Mm, I was thinking more more military heroes that this studded armor could be from their descendants. Ah. Um, I don't know of this area. It's not... Um... I'm not sure. No, sorry. All right, that's fine. I will figure. I will figure something out. En enjoy. <laughs> so you can head over to the marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there, there's a couple people set up. Um, there, there seems to be less people selling and more people kind of just loitering right now. Um, it doesn't mean that you can try to sell yourself though. Sell Alma yourself. <laughs> hey. I mean, you can try to sell it's yourself too if me. you want to. <laughs> hey, that's sailor you want to buy some That's stuff. like my move. If I ever try to go into prostitution, I call it the snake. <laughs> hey, looking for a good time. Oh, except your head. I, I can't move like that. I, that's too stiff for me. How do you keep your head? Girl. You like, buy I, I have apple. to like move my neck like the opposite way. Like I, I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> how do you? How do you stay so stiff? <laughs> I look like I'm just imagine you wearing back a neck brace. Forth. I don't know. I have to like be. I, I don't know. I have to like consciously move my neck. Otherwise, it just stays straight. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have the opposite problem. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So there you go. You the like? Do you do you want like a? I don't know. There's people loitering in the market. Hey, no lollygagging. Uh, I will go and find a, a merchant who seems like they would be interested in this kind of uh thing. Insight. Uh, that is a 12, but in addition to my modifier, that will become a 15. All right, so a couple of people uh, stand out to you. Um, one of them, uh, you're pretty certain, will not uh, care about this. That okay. is a, a tall uh, femme person with a lot of jewelry. All right. Uh, and then uh, there's like a couple of like uh, they, they look like maybe they've been drinking um, they're kind of like standing there swaying talking boisterously to one another but they look like they're fit um, and so like you get the inkling that maybe they're mercenaries um, what, one of them in particular has uh, like they're both wearing armor already it's not studded it's um, and it looks like they're both wearing, like, a partial set. Okay. And one of them is particularly... Okay, I'll go to them. Wait, there's there's a there's a person in full jewelry there. Don't you need to go and insult them about the jewelry? Did I do that? <laughs> that thing did I that did? to a market stall, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Maybe on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> Type good. Um, so what are you doing? What are you doing? What you're doing? Uh, I'll go to the the people with the half armor or whatever. Sure. And be like, do that. Uh, well, hello there, uh, fellow tra traveler of this world. 
I am, my name is the uh, Monozaki, and I happen to be in possession of uh, two quite fine pieces of studded leather armor uh, that have seen, seen a few battles and been reshaped to be stronger and better. The energies of positive battle, uh, positive battles one has been infused into these armors and I believe that they could do very well for you and I'm willing to let them go to you for a bundle deal of just 110 gold pieces. They like, uh, so what, while you're talking, they seem to kind of like glaze over, um, having no room to say anything for themselves. Can I roll a deception or something? I, well, I got let's deception. fucking talk on Okay, this. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but the second that they hear the words 110 gold, um, they kind of like snap back. Uh, and they're like, what do you, what do you want us to do for 110 gold? I'm trying to sell you, as I said, two pieces of studded leather armor for 110 gold. Two sets. Um, that's a little rich for for my my taste. And the other one, like, is like, yeah, me me too. Um, that's well, it, it's for both pieces to be clear. And this armor is freshly uh, crafted, um, only worn uh once by uh, a king. Now you can do He was only stabbed three times. I uh, got yeah, it's twelve. With a plus eight. What? You rolled you that? Roll a one. Oh yeah. No, I was mad at you. Why? Because you gave me a number and then you gave me more numbers. Just give me a number. Twelve. I thought it was 12 plus 8. No, it's 4 plus 8, which becomes 12. Then why did you... I said 12, and then I said 4 plus 8, which is 12. Okay, but 4 is a word that's not a number also. You could see how this gets confusing. If yeah. you could just yeah. tell me the end result, or do the math out loud and end result, that would be helpful. Okay. <laughs> it's a 12, Thank <laughs> to <you>. be clear. <laughs> Because I heard 12, and then I heard a plus 8. So I thought we were moving yeah. to a 20. That'd be 20, yeah. That'd be good. I wish. So what's going on, DM? <laughs> Latruda has glazed over. <laughs> um... I have a hard time believing that, and I also don't care. Oh, well, that's fair. What are you interested in? What do you, would you like to know about this armor? How high can you go? I've been authorized to go as low as 100. Okay, well, firstly, I'm only interested in one set of armor. Okay, well, I can let one go for 60. But ideally, for two of them, I could go as low as 100, that'd be 50 each. And then you could sell the armor. It's such good armor, you could probably make a profit off this, honestly. It sounds like you're the one trying to make a profit off of it. Oh, uh, well, how do you hear now? I've never had someone question my character before in such an obtuse and direct way, my friend. I am trying to help you here. Well, you see, I, I know that I can get armor for less than that. From a craftsman. You can't get armor as good as this or with such a rich history for the price that I'm giving you. The only Third. reason my price is so low is because we are desperate for supplies and munitions for our caravan of orphan children that we are trying to bring to the orphanage. Let's try to these believe that children, for a second. I was looking for the children. Like orphan <laughs> children will go hungry if I cannot sell this armor at the price point previously prescribed. Where are these children? At the caravan. Caravan. Just outside of town. I'm not going to bring a bunch of orphan children into a dangerous town. 
who said that I feel like it's more dangerous outside of the settlement than it is inside of the settlement. Have you not seen the crime reports of this settlement? It is through the roof. I, I would not. I don't. I, I don't think you understand anything. I hardly feel safe here with my own set of studded leather armor. That tells I me would more not about feel, you than it I would does not about feel the safe place. wandering this town without studded leather armor, and especially with studded leather armor with such a rich history, as of which to be a conversation starter as well. I don't think you understand who you're selling to. Who are you? Tell me about yourself. Well, I certainly don't care about the history of the armor I wear. Especially right. if it's not something specific to me. If perhaps it was my father's armor, it might matter. It was your... <laughs> 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 who is Who is your father? Was he a king by any chance? <laughs> it, he was just my father. What's your what's your what's your name, son? Phil. No, your family name, Phil. Come on, you know what I'm asking here. I don't know anything of what you're saying. If I'm being completely honest with. You. All right, Phil. I guess uh. I guess you're gonna miss out today. I bid you adieu. Hey. And like when you leave, like you, it, you look back, and it it seems like you've sucked all of the joy out of the 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 couple of, of guys there, who were having a joyous, boisterous time before you. Should. Well, I'm upset with them. If I'm being honest with you. They they were willing to let orphan children go without food rather than buy some set of leather armor. I feel like they are ontologically evil. So, yeah, that that. Um, hmm. I think they didn't believe that there were orphan children. Ah, uh, they didn't even like try to check or ask or look into it at all. They, they were just kind of like ah, they're just like ah, that's not real, and they just like are shrugged you their sure shoulders. That they didn't try. I I believe I'm they didn't try. Pretty I don't sure believe they in did. Them. No, I don't believe them. I think they're evil. I, I think I think Hordak needs to learn to figure out his audience before he starts uh <laughs> disagree. Well, I mean clearly, obviously the orphan children doesn't like doesn't play here. The people of this town just don't care about orphan children. Did, did so I understand. I understand the kind of place I'm in poor. Uh so that you just don't care about children then if they're like super poor? Alright. If they fair. have nothing to give, they have nothing to give. No, that's fair. I don't know. Can I try to pickpocket them on my way on my way leaving? Uh you the can old shake, certainly shake and try. Would you like to describe how you'd like to pickpocket somebody that is like already very suspicious of you? You know, I feel this is bad. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Literally just like just leaning against the caravan, smoke wait, smoking a cigar. Just wait, is the caravan is chilling. the caravan within eyesight of this? It's sort of like so it's a crossroads. We've sort of just like parked up the caravan along one of the crossroads, so it's sort of not on the corner, but it's Okay. Like this is this is like a, a hamlet, right? So yeah. what, like ten ten buildings altogether? Sure. Oh, so they're probably pretty aware of what the caravan is. All right. Well, I'll go back to Latrude, and I'll I'll say very loudly as I'm going back, like, ah, oh, put put all the children to bed. Have you, Latrude? Good on you. Yeah, I wasn't able to sell the armor at the. And what price were you trying to sell it for? Uh, I tried. I tried to get an extra ten gold piece per set. I tried to sell it as a package deal for a hundred gold pieces. People like the nice round numbers. Maybe I nope, should have gone to ninety. For 100. Well, and then I dropped down because you start higher. And then, ooh, I'm not. I'm talking to Latruda. Latruda. <laughs> Latruda. I tried to sell like... as a hundred. Uh, as a nice two package deal. I probably should have dropped it down to ninety nine gold pieces because the three digits does scare people off. I know that's a that's a trick you can sometimes use to do ninety nine because it doesn't feel like as much. As so, did you drop down to the lowest? I said seventy. 
Well, no, I couldn't have because I said the lowest I could drop to. I told them the lowest I could drop to was 100. If I dropped any lower, I would have been a liar. Okay. Were you not deceiving them? Well, I mean, I was embellishing the truth. Uh, fair enough. I suppose we could just try and sell them in the next town. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's the right idea. We don't want to let them go for cheap. And you know what? These people are ontologically evil. I feel that they, uh, I feel that they would let orphan children starve, and we, they don't deserve our armor. <laughs> Boy, <let> our armor <laughs> <for dinner. laughs> what children? <laughs> don't don't yeah, forget don't, to eat your studs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Latrude is just looking a bit confused to how you didn't sell armor to a mercenary, but also we'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. <laughs> I think uh, we are just going to uh, the guards uh, going collecting uh, with the merchants, just supplies and things, and then we'll be back on the road. Um, I think we'll stay the night just to make sure we're going on a fresh day and yeah, we, you've got the Hamlet to yourself for the night, I suppose. Or to ourselves, should I say. I hope you've not pissed off any of the locals, because there's only one tavern. I would... No, they're fine. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, I'm just trying to think of any business that needs to be taken care of for the night. There is some business Latruda would like to take care of, and that is the business of getting some a uh, putang pa. <laughs> Feeling know. very. I don't know how I feel about calling it that. <laughs> I'm not even sure I know what we're talking about. I I feel like getting it's a little not bit of the pie. old. <laughs> I feel like I know exactly what he's talking about. Getting getting a little slice of that um uh, 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 uh sexy cake. Okay. Is there... Sex. Latruda wants to go and have sex with somebody. <laughs> Is there any? Everyone is confused. You should be. <laughs> this is why the British are having uh, population problems because they try to initiate sex with shit like this, and no one knows what the fuck anyone else is talking about. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, I only have sex once a week because it takes me like a week to to just ask. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've made you. I've made you like seven teas. What the fuck do you think I was doing? <laughs> oh, is there anything specific you're looking for? I don't, I, and are you willing person... to pay? Not willing to pay. No. Literally, just feeling very confident though after slaughtering some humans. Fair. So. So. The I... the person that the tall person that's looked like a Christmas tree with all the jewelry seems seems nice. The sparkliest. Sure. Yeah, you you can uh <laughs> literally you can approach that. <laughs> uh Yeah. Yeah, you can approach them. I'm gonna flick my cigar into a puddle. <laughs> hey hold that clutch this. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle this. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh Mama Me. Look how shiny you are. Did you say Mama Me? Pardon me. I said... Oh, I, I really Mama Mia. Oh, like, so did <laughs> captions. So. I thought it was like it goes up Mama Mia. <laughs> it's like, all right, that's the way Apparently, I said Mama Mia location. Yeah, because that makes sense. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow, you're sparkling like the night sky. This is a, a good getup. I enjoy it. Oh, thank you. Um, I've you made know, a lot of better. it myself, actually. Oh. Mm hmm. Cool. Like a. Is that gold? Damn. Damn! Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some of it's. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, you know that 
tavern is open just over here. I'm feeling a little thirsty. Would you like to join me? Roll <laughs> persuasion. My persuasion, I think, is probably one of the lowest. I've got really high intimidation. <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation before. <laughs> Did you say really high intimidation? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm I'm against you using that stat. Yeah, I'm I'm not. Yeah, no, we we we've, we've, not not, we've made the jokes before. I'm pretty sure we made the jokes when when you were wooing Talus the five. Mm. Plus plus three for my persuasion. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, let me finish up, uh, what I'm doing here, and I'll meet you over there. Would you like a hand? Because I only have one. Like, you sure? I... Okay. I, I will, I promise I will meet you over at the tavern. Have some... Uh, no problem. Uh, Latruda will go and wait. Okay. Um she she will follow like about fifteen minutes later. Ordak, what are you doing during? Uh I am um, I'm I'm gonna we're at the tavern, right? You can be. Is that where Latruda is? That's where Latruda is now. They were they they were talking to the person at the like marketplace. So oh, you, you were you, like you guys were still at the caravan kind of thing. Okay. Marketplace um, is like within eye shot. I mean, it... I would probably <laughs> go to the tavern just to have a drink. I would probably go to the tavern like when this was starting, like when Lichard left and was like, "Hey, Hordak, watch this." I'd probably just be like, "But you didn't." Whatever. Like whatever. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I'd just go to the tavern, so I'd probably already be there, like having a drink kind okay. of thing. Uh, would you be, like, interacting with the local folk? Uh, yeah. The folks that I haven't met yet, probably. Sure. I'd just be mingling. Trying to, uh, in, in, uh, in, incept doubt about their government structures. Sure. Nice. Nice. The typical. The usual. The typical. Uh, Get yeah. a drink, sit down, chat with the locals. <laughs> you know, start an uprising. Yo, you hear about this Marx fellow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, half like Marx. You had a big beard! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so, uh, so Hordak's drinking, Lutruda walks in, I assume, grabs a different table than Hordak. Yes. Uh, well, uh, are the, are the rooms available here? Uh, the rooms... Yeah, there's rooms at the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or an or an alley. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a barrel to hide behind. Yeah. You're you're gonna solidify that you have a room first. Yes. Sure. With a double bed. Sure. How how how, uh, how many people can one of your beds hold? Um, I mean, I think that depends on the size of person. Well, what's the record? <laughs> <laughs> are are you there for this? Did you actually ask? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just fucking around. Okay, cool. Hmm. <laughs> How many of me could we fit in one of those beds? Uh. Let's try to weigh about ninety how, kilograms. How you uh, orient yourself? Uh, probably three or four extra space perhaps are there three or four more single looking people in this tavern um there, there's probably like i mean they, uh, i don't know if you can tell that they're single but you actually don't see any couples or like any obvious couples oh you said there's a few mercenaries if there are any off-duty mercenaries i'm gonna plonk myself with them uh yeah, so the two that Hordak had been they're they're now sitting in the tavern. Plunk yourself down with Okay. Right. We 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 don't need to roleplay this, but Latruda 
is going to try and get as many people as literate can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we should roleplay like that. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, uh, while speaking with these two mercenaries, you actually find out that they are indeed a couple. Um, it just wasn't particularly obvious beforehand. Uh, but they are open to um, having other people Ooh. as a part of their couple. Um, the other person will come in and uh, followed with their like partner. Uh, <laughs> their, their business partner, who unfortunately oh. is their brother. Um, so that that's kind of up to me. you, like how you want to try to play that out. Um, and if DC you want that, to you ask, <laughs> um, so step brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they're they look oh, like you okay. can tell that they're siblings when you look at. Them. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, three will do. <laughs> sure. Um, so yeah, you, you can absolutely convince, well, you can absolutely convince the, the mercenary couple. Um, I will have you roll per, uh, persuasion to get... Uh... Uh, I'm gonna get my fox die. Here we go. Here we go. Blessing of the fox. Remember, chat can inspire, right? And bless. <laughs> can wait, chat wait, still do give that? Give me a second. Give me a second. Does anybody give want to second. bless this union? Wait, you don't have it active. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, oh no! The worst. Wow. Oh, oh no. Okay. But you can have it if you. You can have the bless. Yay. <laughs> wait, I've got the D4. <gasps> oh, you do? You haven't used that yet. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's kind of silly to turn it on now, but I'm gonna. Oh, 18 plus 2 plus 2. Uh, 3. Uh, 23. Ooh. Okay, and you're, you're only going for 3. You're not gonna try to... I'm not trying to push for incest, no. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, it doesn't wow. have to be. They can be, like, in the same room and not interact with each other. I don't think I feel that like counts, that is a... but if that makes anybody uncomfortable, that is also, like, <laughs> totally valid, because I'm not be sure if that's, like, even a gray area. That's more like a dark, deep gray. <laughs> it's like a charcoal you know? gray area, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, the brother can hang around with Hordak or something. I, don't know. I mean, that's... I mean, can they've interacted with each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You ever seen a halfling dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. We are going off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm working on my new character. <laughs> Ew, I didn't like that character. <laughs> Super greasy, sexually aggressive halfling. They call him a Chad. <laughs> he greases back his hair and puts on a leather jacket. <laughs> Oof. Um, is there anything that Hordak would like to do while Latruda uh, hits on and persuades some people to go upstairs with them? Uh, no, he'll just be watching, just be sipping his brew, very boring like. <laughs> so, does Hordak have any feelings about this? Because I feel like you haven't seen Latruda act this way yet. No, there's no, like, no judgment or anything. It's just like, his feelings are just like, ah, silly, silly kids having fun. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like. Latruda. <laughs> Latruda. Latruda's in the faulties. Like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that can happen. Uh, if there's nothing else uh, that's gonna go on. Uh, travel. Are you are you rolling to see how well the night went? I just did a little roll for myself. I rolled a performance check. Okay, what'd you get? I got 
I got 15 plus 3. That's so pretty 18. good. That's pretty good. Did everybody that... else do well? That's not so good. That was an 8. I need a new die. Those ones don't count. This one's been rolling bad the whole time. I want, I want this to be good. Oh, that's I not only ever seen... I roll really well in this little thing I've made. And it makes me really suspicious because I covered it in runes. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I just rolled two eights in a row on a new die. And a twelve. So you were definitely the star of the show. Nice. Nice. But may maybe for you it's quantity over quality? I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm the quality. <laughs> fair. Fair. Um, yeah, don't... Also... Sorry, one oh, little thing I forgot to mention. Um, Lutruda is getting back into like the captain role. You know, they've got like a little squad now and stuff like yeah. that. They're feeling a lot more confident and a lot more like getting back into it. So they've also asked one of the tailors that we're traveling with to, you know, the the long like dark coat that they've got with the fur trim. Yeah. Oh, you can see it in the picture in the in the drawing. Uh, they want their captain's insignia stitched onto it. Okay. So the the wearing almost uniform again. You you need some some mid range rolls. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I rolled like four eights on two different die. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. I don't know. It was weird. I don't like it. All my d20s and see what happens. Fourteen, eighteen, thirteen, ten, sixteen, and a four. <laughs> Jesus. That's, a, that's like one of those like balance runes coming in. Like, oh, we'll balance that out with a four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so let's roll for random encounters for the next leg of the journey. Sure. So uh, everybody... I've only got what a, leg? Uh, a d20? No, um, the other thing. A percentile. I don't... Oh my god, you're making me get my dice out again. You are the weirdest D and D player. You're the weirdest D and D player. How dare you? No, just like you should. Like most people, are like oh yeah, I get to roll dice, and you're like oh, I have to get out a different die. I like the improv part. <laughs> <laughs> but and yet and yet you don't like using digital dice. Uh, I'd rather real dice. Yeah, I'm here for the yes and. Um, I got 88. Oh, I need to roll matching colors. Sorry. Uh, oh, 69. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, that might actually... We might need to re-roll one of those, because those might be the same... Um, uh, Section? Thank you. You're welcome. 88. Oh. Oh, you never mind. Never mind. Eight is uh, that's an interesting one. I'm happy about sixty. Sixty. Oh, they're actually different. Yay! They were right on the. Uh... How many E's does Jeweler have? J Jeweler. E W E Oh, jeweler. There you go. It's got three, isn't it? There we go. Wait, why does mine only have one? Does it know that I'm Canadian and you're British and it spells? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. Because I just find jeweler. that. So uh we like in Canada we usually actually do use the, the double L. Um but you can only choose British or American English. You either have to for it to spell the British way or the English way. Wait, the British way or the American way? And it's a mess, and I hate it. So you either get double L's and S's, or... Wait, no, double L's and Z's, or U's. Wait, no, single L's. Yes. Yeah. Because I know a lot of uh, American like spell with Z's as well, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I spell everything with a Z, but also double L's and a U. So you like to spell things Zulu. Hmm? Yeah. 
Okay, so then we did we did better this time. So this actually worked out really interestingly. So I set up like each leg to have like more combat or more social or more um exploration. And so far we have gotten more of the one that was more. Happened to get three combat last time. We did not get three of the same thing this time, so get excited for something that's not combat. Get excited. Yeah, nice. So that'll be great. And uh, because we're doing this kind of like at the end, I'm going to be able to like really flesh out these encounters. That's like extra. Nice. Um, so get excited fleshy. for that too. I like a good fleshy encounter. I wasn't yeah. really sure how that was going to come out, but. <laughs> There was like a whole stream where I kept saying flesh body or something like that because we were talking about like ghosts and possession. Uh, but we were talking about like what happens to like the flesh body. <laughs> <laughs> and that that was just the way I decided to differentiate like the spirit from the flesh. I don't know. Ah, yes, the flesh body. The flesh hmm. body. I um, like my flesh body. You like your flesh body? That's good. Yeah. Not everybody does like their flesh. Okay, and just making a note, the record for Latruda so far is four. Well, there was also, um... The record. <laughs> like, they, this, like, I don't know how this counts because there were two player characters. But uh, assuming you're talking about... There was, like, an orgy oh, yeah. of, like, a lot. But, like, that might have, oh, like... yes. It doesn't yeah, count if there's necromancy involved. <laughs> That's a very interesting rule. <laughs> mm. the fact I feel like Latruda would draw that, that line. Rule. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda says something. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, unless there's anything else you want to do at the crossroads, though, I think that's the end. I am going to not. I'm going to make sure it's not said that the one person escaped. Uh, I'm gonna gonna let that slide. That one person deserved that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> well, we gotta leave one alive to tell the story, right? Yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> yeah. to spread fear. Well, and, and and in theory, you took out like the leader, right? Because that was the like body that was um, recognized. Hmm. The like, that might be it's enough the leader... to disperse whatever happening. Is the leader the one that said, leave me? Sure. <laughs> okay, so the, the two the two copper that we also got, hmm. I'm going to put that... I know that we left the body, but we're still there. Yeah. I'm going to put the two copper on that person's eyes. Okay. For the ferryman. Because that was a cool thing to do. <laughs> I respect that. I will pay the ferryman's toll. <laughs> I still I still owe the ferryman one though. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, so I'm I'm gonna find someone to raid. Uh so if you guys wanna do We didn't do an intro. No, we didn't. No, we Hi, didn't. I'm we just, we just dove right into it. <laughs> That's so good and terrible of us. <laughs> Wait, we we should we should do outro though. Actually, I am. Okay. You want me to do Thanks it? Thanks for being here, gang. Yeah, go for it. Do it. Tell us who you are. Hi, I'm this person, and you should follow me here on Twitch over at my Twitch channel. It's just over there. It, there's a link in the chat where I do. I play variety games. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna start Baldur's Gate next week. That's kind of like D and D. What we did here. It's me, this guy that you've been watching, Red. Follow me on my channel. I don't know what's terrible is I didn't upload or update the link. The, the <laughs> YouTube's right, but it says Redbeard. So just no. talk in chat so they can touch your name. Touch your name. <laughs> touch my name. All right, next person. <laughs> I'm not going to advertise any of my stuff. One, because I don't really use my stuff, but also because I'd like to give a very special shout out today. I terrified. would like to give a shout out to ASMR, but All specifically right. ASMR microphones. 
because they are expensive and I kind of want one. <laughs> so if there's anyone out there that, that has <laughs> microphones that, for ASMR specific, just let me know. Okay? Thanks. My ear Thank ones. You. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine doing D&D &D with just two ears just like in front of you. <laughs> and today... I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll. My D20. Okay, that's actually so good. The clickety clacks in my ears, love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I mean, you probably know who I am because this is my uh, channel here. But in case you don't, hi, I am Chickity. Uh, we do D and D once a month here, but we also do a lot of chatty stuff and a lot of video games. Um, so if that's a thing. Um, I also do YouTubes and TikToks and all kinds of other uh, stuff outside of this if you ever want to get an offline chick fix. It, there. I love getting my offline chick fix. D&D <laughs> 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 uh, &D ASMR could be the next meta and we could we could start it. <laughs> just, just all of us can like really and just start whispering instead of talking. Hey, I that, oh, yeah. I really, I captions I, don't give a shit about whispers. I can't, I can't whisper and do the Monazaki accent at the same time. Hey I there, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Monazaki, and can I tell you about <laughs> corn? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. I think I think this is when we <laughs> shut it off. <laughs> so I'll be back Monday and Friday, 3 p.m. EST, uh, doing chats, and we're playing Black Book right now. Uh, if you can't catch either one of those, I'll be back a week from today, 9.30 a.m. EST, uh, playing some other random game, because we always play a different game on Saturdays, and I rarely know what it's going to be. <laughs> so I hope you guys had fun. We had a blast. Catch you next time. Bye. I will loot the guard. Thank you so much for checking out this video by Chick of All Trades. Don't forget, if you enjoyed, to like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to come check us out live on Twitch.